At Book Trust, we believe that reading changes lives. Now, whether that's through the educational and subsequent life benefits that reading can bring, or whether it's the pure joy of losing yourself in a book. These are great times, and this is a great, great morning. Um, because what we have here in these chairs this morning, right in, in, in Parliament and in, and in the heart of, of Belfast, is like a solar flare for the cause of the imagination and the imaginative liberation of our young people. A solar flare? I mean, that is an incredible description of the power of, I mean, that's the power of language, but also the, the power of literature too. I'm delighted to have Mallory Blackman here, the UK Children's Laureate. Uh, first time we've met, first time we'll have spoken to one another, and Neve Sharkey, Laureate Nanog, who I did speak to whenever you first I took think it was on. My first day at the job. Your first yeah. day at the job, and yeah. uh, you were full of enthusiasm, and uh, are you still? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want my books to be fake. Yeah. or you know have like a tagline onto yeah. the end of them i make them from the heart you know you want that to come through i couldn't agree yeah. more i think yeah. i think children and teenagers can spot a fake a mile away mm. and i think as soon as you start to talk down to them or start to say this is how you should think that's the kiss of death and mm -hmm. so i certainly don't do that i try and kind of ask questions and raise topics for debate but i mm -hmm. i don't pretend to have any answers in my books i don't have any answers in real life but i love mm -hmm. asking those questions whenever you're writing do you stick to the plan rigidly or do you change things as you go along Sometimes in the stories, the characters have taken me places that I didn't anticipate because I try and plan them out very loosely. I think if I put too much detail in my plan, it actually succeeds in closing down the story, I think, rather than opening it up. So what I do is I try and stick to my story up, but if the characters say, no, I want to go this way instead of that way, I kind of let them go that way and see what happens. And sometimes you get some stuff that you didn't anticipate and it actually makes it better. And that's how I know a story's working because my characters become very real people to me. And it makes me sound like I'm barking, you know, because these, I've got people in my head talking to me. But it really does, I mean, they become real people yeah. to me. We have brilliant, like world-class writers and illustrators, and especially illustrators that wouldn't have been kind of, you know, I suppose celebrated enough in Ireland, I would, I would think. Mm. And even curating the exhibition of Irish illustration and bringing it to Europe, we travelled, um, it was 42 pieces of picture book illustration, and we travelled to Europe last year, and thousands upon thousands of children and adults saw it in Europe. And then we brought it back, and I was really proud that we got to bring it to here, and also to the Museum of Modern Art. So to get illustration into a, a Gosh, museum, yeah, yeah. it kind of meant